G'day and welcome to this wonderful new adventure that we are on, which is Anime Los Angeles. That is right, we are going to be exploring that which is ALA. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kiralee and this is Kiralee Cosplay. On this channel we talk about all things cosplay, costuming and sewing related. And I thought that I would take you on an adventure because you see, this is my first American convention that I'm going to as just a regular attendee. You know, Holiday Matsuri was amazing, but I was a guest. And so I had guest duties and I showed you the behind scenes on that one. I'll link it up on the top somewhere and down below maybe. But this time I am just here to have some fun. In fact, today I was meant to cosplay, but to be honest, it's now like 1, nearly 2 p.m. in the afternoon and we've just arrived and I don't think I'm gonna cosplay. To be honest, I think I'm just gonna be casual met casual today. So we need to go grab our badges and then from there we're gonna have a little bit of a wander, see what's happening, maybe get some food, uh, and yes, come with and enjoy. Okay, so I haven't filmed much today because honestly, it's been so chill so far. We haven't even hit the uh, tr the vendors hall yet, which we're about to do right now. It's currently 5.15, it closes at seven. So we're gonna go have a little bit of a look-see around, see how things are. Might actually try it and register for the mask grade if I can find that. We have just come back from the uh, little adventure for the trading hall. I'm a little bit flush because we're walking really fast. We saw so many things. Um, I have checked in for the mask grade now as well, which is good. So that's all done. Uh, we bought some things already. It was really cool because Thursday night is probably the quietest night that it's going to be. So we took the opportunity to go and have a look at the Traders Hall and Artist Alley. We walked very fast through Artist Alley because we had like only an hour or less than that, 45 minutes to do the entire Artist Alley, which is not enough time and not all the artists were actually out, which was a bit sad, but we did get some stuff. So from Artist Alley, I got two more Jigglypuff pins to add to my ever increasing collection of Jigglypuff pins. Um, I just, I adore this. I've actually seen this one on Etsy and absolutely adore it, but the pricing for the shipping was more than the pin itself. So I couldn't justify it. And uh, then this one is so cute as well. Oh my gosh. So I got that and then I also got a mini Jigglypuff, which I've put onto my bag. And then also I've got a big Jigglypuff uh, plush. This is a bit of a thing. But Terry also got a um, plush of Gengar. He then got a pin of Gengar. And he also got the Dragon Ball Z dragon. What's the name of that one? Shenron. I thought it was Shenron, but I didn't want to get it wrong. So Terry got Shenron. And also he got this lovely fella. <laughs> he has like a little stand that he stands on. And uh, this was so cute that Terry's face was just like, and I'm like, you want it? You'd... So we had to get it. So Terry's a happy, happy little Psyduck. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we are going to take it pretty easy for a little while. And then I think we're gonna head to the swap meet, which is from eight to 12. We're gonna have a quick look around. I don't think we're gonna buy anything, but we shall see and uh yeah and then i think we'll try and have a somewhat early-ish night hopefully tomorrow i'm going to actually cosplay that's gonna be a goal i'll probably do sakura or uh yuraraka so we'll just we'll just see we'll see which one i'm feeling more tomorrow and welcome to day two aka friday so for the morning which is nearly over and done with but for at least a few hours i'm gonna be sakura Slightly devil Sakura with her red eyes because I've done the majority of the makeup for red because I've got 
uh, judging at 5 p.m. today for red. So I'm gonna have a couple of hours in Sakura because I brought her all this way, didn't get to wear her for whole mat, so wearing her for Anime Los Angeles. Terry is a wonderful Bakugo. Come here, come here, come here, my love. So Terry is Bakugo. He is very comfortable and he's able to, he's got a little shirt that he can open up, it's great, uh, I'm loving it. So yes, we are going to go, we're going to have a bit of a wonder. Uh, we're waiting for our dear friend Diana to uh, finish getting ready and then we're all gonna go down together, have a wonderful time, and then probably come up here about 3, 3.30ish uh, to get into red so I can get to pre-judging. And yeah, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do today. We should have a look at the panels. I know Diana's got a panel. And there's another panel that I would like to go to after pre-judging um, that I saw last night. And I was like, hmm, that sounds interesting. So, yes. Let us go on our adventure. Okay, so, here. <laughs> I thought we were taking a photo. <laughs> no, no. This is you two, baby. So here is uh, Diana, aka Bingsy. And uh, she is ridiculously cute. <laughs> and now we're gonna head down to the con. Finally. Hey! Let's do this. Woo! More people today, which is very exciting. And there's a Terry and a Diana. Oh, you sexy thing. Yes! Yes! Work it! Work it! Work that hair, baby. <laughs> it really is, but it's cute. All right, so I haven't been filming much today and it's just about four o'clock. My judging is in one hour and I am now Little Red Riding Hood. <sighs> yes, it's a feeling. All right, let's go to judging. Maybe get some photos along the way. Yay. She's hot. She's very hot. Thank you, Terry, for putting me in her. <laughs> Alright, so we're here at pre judging just behind me, and um, we are 40 minutes early. But you know, be prepared, right? I don't know actually know where to sign in or anything, so I'm just gonna wait here until I see someone. Terry's with me. Alright, so pre judging is now done, we're back in the vendors hall. It went well, I think. Uh, it was only five minutes long, and I thought it was ten, so I ran out of time, but also like. Like, I was just saying the obvious, I just panicked. I was like, this is me. So, hopefully they liked it. I've left my build books with them. So hopefully they have a bit of a flick through that. That would be nice. But I know that they're super busy. So hopefully I'll just do a really good performance tomorrow. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so we're going to have a look at the vendors hall. There is a um, panel I want to go to tonight. So... Fingers crossed. And I also met another one of the contestants who watches my videos and that was a really super sweet interaction. So I can't wait to see her cosplay tomorrow. But yes. All right, let's go and explore the vendors hall again. There's so much here and the cosplays are really, really cool. I'm really, really enjoying myself here. We've been cosplaying for over 10 plus years and we've been doing mass for seven plus years. And what we do is like, we like to help Beginner cosplayers get into cosplay and start competing and like, you know, uh, show other cosplayers how to sew and that kind of stuff. So it's a little bit about who we are. We're now waiting in line to go through the metal detector so we can go to the panel tonight about hosting. Yeah, well, you know, how, are you ready to host? Which will be good fun. So we've got a few people that we know on there. So Diana and um, Andrew are on there and then it's being hosted by Bree, so it'll be good. Partnerships or sponsored partnerships are really good to note for, for me as well. But um, I like to be able to take a look at, at a reel. I like to be able to see what you've done. I like to know what your equipment is. And I also like to know what you've written. So that's very important for me. Time for some masquerade information. <laughs> I'm so tired. I was up until 2 a.m. <laughs> Go in run order. Entry number, and when you you read this text, when your name is called, please raise your hand. Uh, and say here very loudly because it's hard for us to hear up here. Uh, entry number two, dear Alt Noah Zero. Here. Thank you. 
Try not to spill anything on anybody. Watch out for big hoop skirts or dresses. Don't step on anyone's costumes. Um, we'll try to make as much space as possible, but just kind of keep an eye out for your surroundings. Um, and also try not to wander off. Um, if you're here for an appointment for tech or craftsmanship and need to go to the bathroom or need to go somewhere else or have an emergency, make sure you tell a staff member, because uh, if you wander off and we can't find you, uh, then we start to freak out and hope that you're okay. <laughs> Performing on stage. So how many people have never performed on a stage before? Ooh, this makes my life a little bit easier. Well, so when you come here for tech rehearsal and when you're coming to perform for the masquerade, please follow the staff's directions. The stage manager will be right by the stage. They'll say when it's okay to come on and off. There'll be assistants who will help you carry anything on if you need any help with anything. Um, and the last thing that's most important, uh, well, the second most important is come as far forward as possible. Um, it's very easy to kind of get stuck backstage here. Um, come all the way to the front. The lights will hit you better up front in the stage. Again, don't fall off. Um, if you want, when you come up on stage for your text rehearsal, you'll notice there are some red X's all the way up here on the front panels of the stage. There's one at the right middle, center, and left middle. So if you want, if you're a walk-on, if you're not sure how far to come forward, just look for those red X's. Tech rehearsal went well, very quick. Got on, did my thing, got off, had two runs of it. Uh, first time just kind of getting the layout of the stage a bit more, second time really nailed it. So feeling good about it. Um, I really hope people laugh. <laughs> I feel like that's a common theme with my skits, is that I'm like, I'm doing comedy, but hopefully people will laugh. Uh, it took a risk, uh, because uh, obviously this is Australian, but I'm, I'm Red Riding Hood if she was an Australian. And uh, yeah, uh, it's a very, very Australian kind of Australianana flavor to it, shall we say. So we shall see. I am the only international uh, which is interesting, uh, but not, not expected, if that makes sense. They did a raised show of hands of like, who's from California? Who is from interstate? Who is from international? And I'm like, hi, hey. and people are like, woohoo! Uh, and they laughed when, when my skit was like, it, when the skit was read out and they said, uh, number 43, Little Red Riding Hood, if she was Australian, and people were like, what? Uh, so, you know, hopefully, hopefully people will like it. Um, and yeah, I have now got my face full of red makeup. Uh, I'm just taking a little moment, a little breather, because I'm very tired because we were up until 2am talking last night and just laughing. Um, so I am trying to like pace myself today and just nerves i always get nervous at a competition and it's so silly because like i'm here for the fun of it like honestly i am and yet i still there's still that little part of me that is competitive like mm -hmm. and i'm like be quiet just enjoy the process uh so yeah i am just gonna have a little rest uh it's 2 30 in the afternoon now um and i really need to be in cosplay probably no later than 3 30 because I've got a panel that I'm giving about uh, the the best way to perform for a cosplay competition. Really on the nose, considering I'll be sitting in red, uh, and then I'm going straight to like, you know, the masquerade. So yeah, the masquerade is running from seven o'clock until ten thirty this evening, which is super late in my opinion for a masquerade. masquerade. But it is what they do here. It is like their, one of their main events, if not the main event. Uh, and so they expect it to be very, very busy. It's kind of like a nighttime show, a little bit like a theater show, really. So yeah, I'm, I'm right near the end as well. I'm number 43 out of, I think, I think they're counting up to 50, but there's only 46 entries. So I'm, I'm really towards the end. Uh, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Hopefully I'll... The, hopefully people will still be awake when I come on stage. My like, g'day! Uh, so fingers crossed. Anyway, I'm gonna rest and I will check in when I'm in full cosplay or I'm at the panel. 
All right, I'm in cosplay. I am heading down for a quick shoot. Uh, I was reached out by one of my followers, Emily, and uh, her boyfriend uh, or partner would like to take some photos. So I'm gonna do that before I head to my panel. So yes, good times. I'm very excited. I do love Red and I haven't got any good photos of her yet. So I'm just like any photographer, I'm like, yeah, sure, take a photo of me, please. Make me look good, whee hee. Cause I spent a lot of time on this cosplay. So <laughs> yes. But yes, look at this beautiful view that we look out onto. Isn't it really cool? I'm so happy. All right, let's do it. Yeah. 
And for me, I know that my love is comedy. So I have pretty much only done comedic skits or skits that have a comedy element to it. And like Diana said, you need a beginner, beginning, a middle, and an end if you're doing some sort of performance skit. Even if it's a dance or a singing skit, you need to have a climax and you need to build up to it. And when you hit that climax, you need to get off. You need to finish. It's, it's you know, you build up, you build up, you build up, whoop, and then bang, down. Um, and there's lots of ways that you can finish a skit. You can die. Um, yeah. Yeah. You can yeah. die. I die a lot. <laughs> be killed. Be killed. Get resurrected. You, you can just freeze. You can go behind something. You can exit the stage. Stage left. Pursued by there. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's Shakespeare. It's Shakespeare, if you mind, sorry. Um, there's there's a lot of different ways that you can finish the skit, but finish it solidly. Don't just like be like. Well then, yeah, we. <laughs> and everyone's like, do we pass? Lovely. I have given out all my fantails and uh, now we're just waiting for the show to begin and we're going to be taken away in groups to have our photos taken. So yay! Look at them all. All these amazing people. Outside real quick. I've taken off my cloak because I'm number 43 and we're just starting now. And uh, she's heavy. She's very heavy. Uh, the masquerade has started about 30, 45 minutes late. So who knows how long this is gonna be? Oh my goodness! Me. But it's it's good fun. We've just had all of our photos taken, um, and that was that was lovely. So now we're just cheering on other contestants. As they're going through, and yeah, Terry is up front there with a whole lot of other of my mates uh they've got prime seats so that's super super awesome anyway better get back in there entry number 43 in the master division red riding hood if she were australian we all know the tale of little red riding hood and the big bad wolf but how would the story be different if Red Riding Hood was, say, mm, Australian? <laughs> G'day there, little fella. Crikey, aren't you just the cutest big bad wolf I've ever seen? <laughs> okay, now jump on. Did you just growl at me? Uh, are you trying to scare me? Yeah, nah, mate, I'm from the land down under where everything wants to kill you. So I bet those pearly whites of yours are real sharp. But you see, this is a knife. You come at me, you're gonna be bush tucker. Ooh, come to think of it, I've never had wolf before. I've had roo, shark, snake, croc, emu, but never wolf. Ooh, I bet you taste good on a Barbie. All right then, come on, mate. Give us a burl. <coughs> Oi, where you going? Come back here, you drongo. Red Riding Hood. <coughs> Carrie Lee Cosplay has actually traveled here all the way from Perth in Western Australia. So you know that was authentic. Red Riding Hood, if she were Australian, in the Master Division, presented and constructed by Kiri Lee Cosplay, inspired by Sunset Dragon's Red Riding Hood. 
So I have just finished being on stage. Um, if there, the stage performance is available because we weren't allowed to record, I will certainly, you know, show you what it was. Hopefully you've seen it. Otherwise, I will link it below. Um, it's going to be it's going to be put on YouTube by Anime Los Angeles. So I'm very excited to watch that back. It felt really really good. A lot of like there was a lot of laughter, a lot of support from my darling, uh, darling little cheer squad. It was very very sweet. And uh, yeah, I got a laugh, so hey, it translated. Uh, they really liked, oh, this is a knife. So uh, that was that was good. I was very, very happy with all of that. So now we just sit around, wait around, wait for the results, and then I can go and do wig and get out of this very heavy cosplay. <laughs> I feel like I'm just complaining about Red. I love her, like I absolutely adore her, and I love wearing her, I feel so cute. But she heavy, she heavy. Right, so we're here in the waiting room we're about to finish up the mask raid we're very very close to being finished and i'm standing with this lovely lady who is another contestant and also watches my videos so why don't you introduce yourself oh to my. all of my subscribers go on hi i'm capitan cosplay i love curly so much i love that it was so cute we, we, we had we've had a very cute interaction the last couple of days it's been very very cute and like she looks amazing like let me just give you this look of her cosplay okay let me just zoom out here and i'm gonna do a head down to the toes oh yeah well done so good and your performance was really really good as well so you should be so proud of yourself so yeah that's us. I honestly don't know if I liked the craftsmanship or the performance more. Both of them were absolutely amazing, astounding. I don't think I could see a flaw on this cosplay or in the performance. Um, all the handwork, all of the stage presence, it was absolutely amazing to me. We always love it when a cosplayer, you know, we're all in costume, but we always bring a little bit of ourselves to that too, be it some of the design choices that we make, who we are as people. And I really, really appreciate this person really just took the whole selves into it, just threw it at this costume. It was incredible. I always appreciate individuals who take the time to do the details right, from the undergarments to the outer garments, from material choices to incorporating a beautiful costume into an amazing, wonderful skit. This contestant had it all. I actually saw this contestant getting their photo taken outside, and I was like, oh, I hope they're entering, because this is beautiful. <laughs> and then I saw them sitting there outside the judges' hall, and I was like, are you entering? And they were like, uh huh, I'm like, nice. <laughs> so I, it, it's just beautiful, and, and you'll understand why if you take even two seconds to look closely at this thing. It's gorgeous. So without further ado, I'm going to announce best of show. Yes, drum roll. Yes. Oh, what? Just kidding. Before we do the drum roll, before we announce, we got some really amazing prizes for this person. No, I. This is very important. I want them to know what they get. First, a badge to ALA for next year. A hundred dollars from Lowe's. A hundred dollars from Joanne's. I like how every prize gets a clap. I love it. Three three hundred prize points. On $100 for epic cosplay wigs. And, y'all, a 3D printer. Any cubic cobra. Y'all, let's give it up for the Best in Show Award to number 43, Red Riding the early morning but who's counting and I just wanted to show this
Oh my god, just put that anywhere, I guess. <laughs> I want best in shirt. A little red riding hood. If she was Australian. Wow. I'm so tired. I'll check in with you tomorrow morning. Bye. Welcome to Sunday. I actually got some sleep, so yay! So I am dressed up as Jigglypuff today. Uh, we're going to quickly head over to the, uh, the, the, the kind of recap for the cosplay event that was last night. Uh, and then after that we need to check out and following that we're going to just spend a bit of time going around the convention. I have 300 points to spend uh, to get prizes so um, I will go there probably first up and uh, see what I can get. I don't know what to expect so yay! Let's do Sunday where there's no stress. Yay! Postmodern time! There I spot the judges giving back all of the feedback and being super di diplomatic about it. Yeah, so Terry and I are in the convention center and we've just spent some of our points. We didn't spend all of them because I won 300 points for this little shop in here. And um, we've still got like 120 points left but I got a beautiful vintage kimono. I got some wig heads that are like travel size and I got some patterns. So, very happy with what I got, and now I think we're going to have a little wander. I might try and palm off my points to maybe some mates if I see them around. Uh, and we also need to go back into the vendors, vendors hall, but I'm not going to take any footage of that because I feel like I've got enough of that. Uh, but yeah, so we're just having a really lazy day today. Oh, and I also had my photo taken today by uh, a few different people, met some lovely people who were like, I follow your work, and I'm like, yay, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it, honestly, it's been so amazing to have people recognize me um, and to also congratulate me for Red Riding Hood yesterday, even though like I'm this, but as soon as I open my mouth, I guess I sound a bit different to most people here. <laughs> All right, let's keep having some fun. And I do need to do a full debrief. I know I need to do a full debrief about the competition. So I might do that later tonight. So it is now much later on the Sunday and we are, as you can tell by the different wallpaper, we are actually at uh, Diana's house, which is lovely. I. Uh, so, Anime Los Angeles was a very long event. <laughs> I am not used to a four day convention. Oh my goodness me. Um, so many thoughts, so many feelings. Overall, like just amazing. So it was such a wonderful, wonderful event. We had a really, really good time, met some incredible people and I really really want to thank every single one of you who watches these videos who came and said hi and introduced yourself um, or yourselves should I say because that honestly made my little heart sing it was so lovely to meet you all um, and you know it was it was so lovely to be in a masquerade with a number of people who you know either watch this video or aware who I was um, and and that was that was a really really special moment for me as well and of course you know competing with people that I knew as well then I'm like hey I know you and I love your work so let me look all over it <laughs> so let's talk about the, com the competition um, because it, it was it was very interesting in a very good way so how it differs from an Australian convention is that number one there was a lot more entries than would be in a normal kind of competition. So they limited to 50 entries and then only uh, four dropped out and a few others dropped out on the particular day. So there was about 46 teams but I think it was probably more around 44, 43, somewhere around there. I was number 43, so I was right towards the end. Um, so there was there was a lot of waiting around, um, which is fine. And I just like made friends with people and was talking to them. 
and uh, I also had moments where I was like, I am overheating, so I'm just gonna sit in this chair, have a fan, and just be like, mm, this is where I live now. Um, so that was that was that was definitely a mood. Um, I am still very sore today from wearing red uh, because she's heavy. She's very heavy. Um, we we were split into three different groups so it was like um so that way we had specific people that we could go to and and report to and i was in the breadsticks so i was the in the last lot uh and that was really really cool i did like that actually i thought that was very very fun and they gave us fun names which was good they also gave us some snacks um, so that happened at uh, Holiday Matsuri as well and also at Anime Los Angeles. I think that's so wonderful for the contestants to be backstage. We had snacks, we had drinks, we had endless supply of water which was fabulous. Water here is sometimes in cans which is very strange and it's flat water. Mm. Um, they also had a cosplay repair station um, up the back and they also had basic medical supplies as well which was very handy because i started getting a really bad headache and luckily they had some like um ibuprofen or something like that um shouldn't have asked more questions before i just popped those pills but it worked so um yeah and everyone was super super lovely uh m amazing amazing competition amazing uh costumes you know there, there was over half were uh, master level um and just the quality of this this um this event was it was definitely high um and i later found out from diana that this is one of the uh, more uh competitive competitions within the usa so it's it's something that a lot of people really really want to be a part of so that was really cool and to then win best in show wow like i i was <laughs> sitting there well everyone's getting announced i'm like all right that's cool whatever all right this Aussie's fine i'm just like sitting there with a fan and i'm like <sighs> let me get out of this but then uh, they got to best in show and then I was like, ah, okay, they're saying really nice things. Oh, cool. Nice. Good work, everyone. I was cheering for everyone as they were getting their awards. It was just a long wait between like the last act and, and the award ceremony. And I'm like, yeah, they're saying some really nice things about the best in show. And then they got to the last judge and the last judge said, um, I saw this, uh, this person waiting outside of the judging and I went over to them and I said you're entering right and uh, this person uh, and this person said yeah of course uh, and at that point I had that conversation with her and I was like oh 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 and everyone's like looking around the room going oh who said that who said that and then they announced me and everyone cheered it was really really lovely and then I ran on stage like an absolute goofball um, and <laughs> did my little bounce <laughs> because that's apparently what I do when I win awards, I bounce. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a really fabulous, fabulous time. Um, and my little cheer squad were amazing. Uh, they they came in and uh, afterwards and I got lots of cuddles and you know we're going Aussie 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 oi 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 so it was it was nice it was very very nice and so <laughs> we have won a whole lot of gift cards or rather I, I've won a whole lot of gift cards um, and like prize points and whatnot so we're going to be going some very hard hitting shopping tomorrow um, because we've got limited time in LA and the gift cards are for Joann's and Lowe's and that sort of thing. Luckily Epic Cosplay is something that's online and I spoke to them today and they were like, yep, not a problem at all. We can certainly ship to Australia. So I'm like, fabulous. Um, and then <laughs> the main prize was the 3D printer. 
And immediately I'm like, like after I got off stage, I was like, oh no, I have won a 3D printer. <laughs> How am I getting that home? And then I had a chat to the organizer and they said, no, it's okay. We, we actually haven't got the physical printer. So we will need to get it shipped to you. And I said, look, you know, how do you order it? And they were like, oh, well, we could probably find like an Amazon partner. And I said, fabulous, because if you order through Amazon Australia, then that way it comes from Australia to me and it will have the right plugs. And that would be very, very important because of the conversions. The electric electronic currents between USA and Australia are slightly different. So um, yeah, I didn't really want to get a converter plug. Uh, for, for a 3D printer. Um, so very, very happy. And they were very, very happy with that accommodation. So yeah, it was, it was just really, really amazing. And, um, Chad from Hoku Props was really lovely and got us some dinner, Terry and I some dinner because we were so tired and we got in about midnight and, uh, we, there was people within our hotel room and, <laughs> you know, celebrating as we walked in and um chad went down and got us some food so thank you chad from hoku props for feeding us last night um but yeah just and then today was just uh a little bit of a sleep in jaunting around as jigglypuff um you know and just having a lovely time it was a lot more chilled but honestly by three o'clock i i just turned to terry and i said i'm done <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I can't keep doing this. I'm not 21 years old anymore. And um, and so we we went, uh, got changed, and then essentially called a cab and said goodbye to everyone. So yeah, and this is where we are. We're now at Diana's, and we are very very tired, and we're just doing a whole lot of washing like responsible adults. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining this vlog. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too rambly or too crazy. I will say also that there is the ribbon game at Anime Los Angeles. I'm going to insert some B-roll roll footage here of the collection that I had. I did pretty good for my first, uh, first ever ALA uh, ribbon collection. I was very proud of it. So yes, it was it was amazing and it was uh, so much fun to collect those those ribbons uh, from different people, you know, random people coming up and being like, here's a ribbon. And I'm like, here's mine. Um, and no one seemed to mind that mine were handmade, which was really, really lovely because they frayed. The other ribbons didn't fray. I tried. I swear I tried. Uh, but yes, they, it was it was lovely. Anyway, guys, I will leave that here. Uh, I hope that you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next one. Please remember to subscribe, like, leave the comments, all of that good stuff. All right. Bye. For the Best in Show Award to number 43, Red Riding Hood. <laughs>